What's up everybody? Happy New Year. It is now 2017. Time to make it a bigger and better year. I have not one, but two, two unboxings to do for you today. So bear with the length of the video. I do apologize if it's longer than usual. I try to keep it as short as possible. If you don't know, I love nerdy and geeky awesome collectible items. I do subscribe to this wonderful box called the BAM Box. It's about $35 a month after tax and shipping. I will have a link down below in the description if you want to go check it out. They do have on here, they don't have it on the box this month. They have an Instagram, they have a Facebook, and they have a Twitter. They offer their own community that you can go and chat with all your buddies on and trade items. There's a lot of variables on everything that's in there. So it's a really cool collector's trading community to be a part of and you get an awesome enamel pin as well that goes with the theme and the number two box that i have uh their competitor for bam box nerd block they're based out of canada issued a challenge because november's bam box didn't quite come up to the standards that usually we have with the bam box a lot of people complain i really wasn't too thrilled with it i was ready to throw in the towel but i said hey bam box i like you i want to keep trying you got one mess up let's see what we can do because they are trying to do something different they did lower the price they've removed the fillers and they have promised to put better items in there so i'm excited to see what they have this year in store for us and get back to their roots well nerd block said, hey, if you're not happy, prove to us that you got that. Show us your shipping information and we'll give you one free subscription box of your choice. Nerd Block does offer multiple kinds. They have a sci-fi block, a horror block, an arcade block, which is now going to be called Gamer Block, as well as a Nerd Block Junior for both boys and girls, and just a regular Nerd Block. I chose to get the arcade block. I mean, I can't let you see my address because I don't want you sending me pizza. Even though I really do like pizza. Um, so I'm going to start with this arcade block. And we're going to see what we got in it. And see if they really are better than BAM box. And I did have to pay about 10 bucks for shipping. They just paid for the box. I paid the shipping myself. Now if you don't know Nerd Block and all of their blocks and variant blocks. They do come with a shirt in them every month to go along with the theme. Um, so let's get started. The shirt that I have here, it looks like it is an Overwatch shirt. It has all of the main characters and uh, all that good stuff in there. It is in yellow. Um, I did beta test Overwatch. I did like it. Um, not sure how I feel about the shirt. I really don't like yellow as a color. It's kind of a golden. But it's not bad. I'll wear it. Who doesn't need a new shirt in their wardrobe? And this is an officially licensed Nerd Block exclusive Overwatch shirt. All of their shirts are always the Guild on Heavy Cotton. So they are durable and they don't usually shrink. The next item that I have in my arcade block looks like it is a Game Boy keychain. It is a Nerd Block exclusive. And it, let's see if I can do it. It's a squeezy light. Anyways, yeah, enough of that. So, it, it, let's see if I can pull it out of this plastic here and let you guys see without a glare. I know the lights are horrible here. All right. Yep. <laughs> it is a Game Boy and it looks just like that Game Boy you used to have. And you can find your keys when you lose them. Or the door for the key. Yeah. Anyways, you got it. The next thing I have in here is a little licensed plushie. It is from Assassin's Creed. It is Aguilar. And if you've ever subscribed to any of the nerd blocks, you know several months ago they did include one of the new Joker from Suicide Squad in this same kind of style plushie. And here he is in all of his Assassin's glory. His head. His uh, head. His hood does come off, so you can reveal his identity if you wanted to. Uh, I like plushies. I like Assassin's Creed, so I really kind of like this. He's kind of cute. It's a little better than the Joker one, and it is officially licensed through Ubisoft as well. 
The next item that I have in my arcade block is a Mega Man Robot Master Field Guide. I love books. I love Mega Man. This is a Nerd Block exclusive. It is from Capcom. It has got the wonderful colors. It's got all the different pages with the names of the robots, their specs, all kinds of good stuff. And it is like the coolest thing ever. And the last item that I got in my nerd block, I almost had a nerdgasm over it whenever I saw it. Yes, I peeked in the box before I showed you guys. I have to. It is a Legend of Zelda item. I was so excited. I thought it was a Master Sword. Unfortunately, it was not a sword. But it is very, very, very cool. It is a glass candle holder. And it looks like stained glass. And there is Link over here doing his archery thing. And if you turn it around, there he is in all his Hyrulean glory. It's a candle holder. Or whatever. It says it's a candle holder, but I'm sure you can put other things in there if you really wanted to. Make it decorative. Make it your own. I'm super excited about that. And what else do I have? have an advertisement for next month's. Uh, gamer block and they're gonna have Fallout, Sniper Elite, etc. They have an E for Everyone gamer block and an M for Mature gamer block apparently. Yep, it says arcade block is leveling up. Arcade block, E for Everyone, and blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. And now we have our spoiler card. Let's give it a look see. And of course, we got that Zelda glass candle holder. It is exclusive. The thing about Nerd Block is 90% of everything you get is exclusive to them. So I guess that's pretty cool. But yeah, we got that super awesome candle holder. We got that Overwatch t-shirt that is Sazen's Free Plush. That Game Boy Light Up Flashlight Keychain. And that Mega Man Field Guide. All of which are exclusive items to this box. Let me know in the comments below what you thought if you got this box. If your nerd block was different, if you're a Bambox subscriber and you got your free nerd block, arcade block, gamer block, etc. from them, let me know down here below what you got, what you thought. And now to the second half of my unboxing, it is my Bambox. Let's see what my Bambox for December, whether or not it lived up to the challenge of that arcade block, and let's see what we got. Now they did just change their uh, boxes up a little bit. Now instead of the white paper, we get black tissue paper. They get less of it, but hey, now I can make Christmas presents and birthday presents with tissue paper. Oh good. And in here, I have my spoiler booklet. They went to the spoiler booklet thing. It seems like everybody's doing the spoiler booklet these days. It is a... This month's theme is Legends, this month being December. And let's get right on to the pen. It is a BAM exclusive parody pen. And it looks like I got a Captain America. He is saluting with the wink and he's going, hey girl. Guess that makes sense. It's kind of cool. Their pens are enamel. They usually are of a pretty high quality. I don't know if it's going to focus. I think it's not going to focus. I apologize. Um, but they have a guest artist every month who designs their pens. Usually they have three or four different pens because their pen trading game is strong. So I can't wait to see what the other variants could be. And on to the very next thing. I have a velvety pouch. Alright. Who doesn't want a velvety pouch with red satin? What did I get in my pouch? It is cold. It is metal. It looks like I have throwing knives. Now, I haven't been a subscriber to the band box for super duper long, but I have heard tale of in the past where they would give you sharp objects. And I'm excited because I love sharp objects to get these lovely throwing knives. They are from Perfect Point. They are stainless steel made in China. Of course, they are kind of dull. But they do have a really 
sharp tip. Be careful. Don't let your kids play with this. I know some of you guys do uh, get these for your children's, but uh, yeah, be careful. It's really cool. It is wrapped in what seems like to be a light paracord. Super cool. Points right here. Sharp objects are my favorite. Moving right along, I have what seems to be a print. All of your prints, comic books, any other collectible item that you get does come with a BAM box COA, which is a certificate of authenticity to let you know that it is for Rizzle, for real. And it is this super awesome print. It is Japanese samurai style, old world, and it looks like it's Boba Fett. I really, 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 really super duper dig this. I love the, the samurai style. I love J Japanese things. I love the samurai style of art. I love the thick edges and the bright colors. I love this. This is great. This makes me happy. This right here. So if anybody has one that's not this and they don't want it, let me know. And um, yeah, I love it. The next thing I have has a certificate of authenticity from Dynamite Entertainment. It is a Red Sonya number no. zero BAM box exclusive limited edition series. And it is signed by Amy Chu. Amy Chu is the writer of this. Um, this is actually a really good comic series if you want to get into it. It is Red Sonya. You can see right here her autograph. And you can see the wonderful, awesome artwork. You can see her in all her glory. And on the back, you see, ta-da! It is signature. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. And the next item that I have, it feels like and looks like, it is another comic book. And also certified by Dynamic Forces. It is a Star Wars Vader Down number one. Dynamic Forces exclusive cover, and it is one of a specially limited series of 15,000 copies. Now, 15,000 copies sounds like a really big number, but when you think about how many people there actually are in existence, it's not really that big of a number anymore. Um, now, it does not look like it is signed, but it is a number one first edition, variant edition, Vader Down, and it is very... Nicely done. I love Darth Vader. There's the at at. You got some stormtroopers going on over here, and he's ready to kick some booty. And it looks like the last item that I have, it's either going to be a print or a picture. And it is a signed picture. That's pretty cool. And they do have the BAM authentic sticker. You can see the autograph right here. Here's this picture. Ta -da. And now we can get back to that spoiler book. And let's see. The awesome difference thing about BAM Box is that every item they have has a variant. They have collectibles that are more collectible than what you already have. They're even more limited than what you've already got that's limited. That's a super awesome selling point for that. That's what encourages the trading community that they do have set up for all of us here in the BAM box community. Um, and let's get right to it. The spoiler booklet here, the BAM exclusive parody pins. I could have gotten a Hydra pin. Hail Hydra, by the way, I am a villain. Hail Hydra. Um, yeah, could have gotten a limited edition 250 Hydra pin or in red or in black and white. I got the Hey Girl pin. There's also a Bucky Winter is Coming pen. It says, we had fun ideas for this month and we knew Nick was the artist to pull it off. Most will get Hey Girl or Winter is Coming pens, but watch out for a limited edition set popping up in some boxes. These are limited and numbered. The artist is Nick Kakosa. I think that's the correct way to say that. I really want a Hydra pen. If anybody has a Hydra pen and they don't want it, let me know. I'll give you Captain America. Just say. And then we have that Vader Down number one. They have a limited release of 5,000. 
in black and white. So it says the colored one was 15000 the black and white was only 5000 It is a DF exclusive by artist Olivier Coppel. When Darth Vader accidentally finds himself facing off against the Rebel fleet on his own, the Rebels will learn the true strength of the dark side and the Force. So you can see here, it's kind of hard to tell the difference. I got this regular copy here, and the black and white copy, you can't see because it doesn't want to zoom today. But it looks very, very similar. I like the color one more myself. Must say, I like colors. Colors are fun. A start your own legend set. Every legend begins with a story. Every story involves a person, most often encountering some sort of peril. Blah, 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 blah. We gave you your own magical purple pouch with the ability to do that. So become a legend today. And it also has the disclaimer that these are leather openers. They are not made for battle, real or imaginary. They are to be used as a collectible item. And they, we assume no responsibility for your injury damage or loss incurred by this or any use of our products. I got this two knife set. I really, really, really am digging the swords. Yeah, I want the swords. But the knives are cool. We also have Galactic Samurai Art Print. The artist is Brian Reedy. Um, he is a Miami-based artist who specializes in wood and lino block prints. Makes the nerdy me very happy. And he mashed up space and samurai together. They had four different variables of these prints. Two color and two black and white versions. The black and whites are limited to 500 each. And his work has been featured all over the place. So there's that awesome color one that I got. And there's the black and white version of that. They also had this one and this one. I need these. All three of these. I need them for living. These are super cool. But I'm super happy with this one. Again, I love the bright, vibrant colors that it has. And the line work. And it does look like that old world style Japanese art. And it does let us know that next month's theme is going to be... Well, technically it's this one. This one's theme is going to be... Hi, guys. This one's theme is going to be anniversary. It is their anniversary of the BAM box. They are going to be turning one years old. Happy first birthday, BAM box. Can't wait to make that video at the end of this month. And thank you. They're going to be back bringing back favorites. They're going to have stuff from Rocky Davies and Chrissy Winaga. And animation. One of a kind animations will make their appearance. And they'll forget that they're also going to be putting... A um, hockey mask signed by Ari Lehman. Super exciting. Back to the show. Anyways, we had that red Sonya number zero. It is signed by the writer Amy Chu. Uh, every cover is hand signed. And looks like there is a hundred special editions out there with a silver signature. And 50 lucky people are going to get a gold signature on theirs. And they have randomly inserted signed and scent of color cover covers as well. And then the final item that we got in my box is Sarah Gray, who plays Stargirl in Legends of Tomorrow. She signed that beautiful picture of herself in the show. There's a picture of her signing pictures. And then they're doing a giveaway. I will be participating in this giveaway. And it is going to give you a detailed reproduction of Andoril, the actual prop sword built by the Workshop of New Zealand, used by Aragorn, King of Gondor, and Lord of the Rings. If you don't know what that is, I don't know. We have problems. We can't be friends. Lord of the Rings is amazing. I'm going to win this. I'm going to win this. Can you hear me, Bambox? This is mine. I'm going to go with my Gimli helmet. And of course, then again, straight out of Bambox, you can go to that site. You can talk to all your friends. I will be on there because I want a Hydra pen. I want all the things. This is awesome. Hands down, I think Bambox wins. Sorry, Nerd Block. Nice try trying to get me. I love your tchotchkes. It's really cute. Bambox is where it's at. That being said, subscribe and like and comment tell me what you thought about your nerd blockies if you got them arcade block or whatever 
If you want to hit me up for a treat, let me know. Send me a message. Hit me up on trade. But until next time, I will see you guys at the end of this month with my next video.